Hi, today we're going to look at lesson 1-3 in the example, Is Anybody Home? We're going to compare distributions with dot plots. How do the number of people living in households in the United Kingdom, UK, and South Africa compare? To help answer this question, we use a census at the school's random data selector to choose 50 students from each country. Here are parallel dot plots of the household sizes reported by the survey respondents. Parallel dot plots means that we have two dot plots on the same scale. You can see household size 0 to 30, household size 0 to 30. <clears throat> we are going to compare the distributions of household size. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at four major factors. First we're going to look at shape. As you can see the shape of the South African distribution is skewed to the right. Remember look to see where this slopes off to. So it slopes off to the right and it's single peaked well, the UK is single peaked also, but it is symmetric roughly. The center of the household sizes for South African students tends to be a little bit higher. There tends to be about six people living in a household, whereas at the UK it's a little bit lower with four people living in the household. Variability. So here we want to look at how spread out the data is. So the household sizes for South Africa students vary more from a minimum of 3 to a maximum of about 26, whereas in the UK they're more consistent with a minimum of 2 to a maximum of about 6 people in a household. The last thing we want to look at is are there any outliers. If we look at that, there aren't any out obvious outliers Excuse me, in the UK plot, but if you look in the South African plot there are two potential outliers. This student here with 15 people living in their household, and this last student here with 26 people living in their household. For additional practice, you can try exercise 11.